I've been doing this gig a long time. That album we just mentioned there, uh, Moment of Human Kindness, um, was on an album uh, that came out 31 years ago. Jeez, 31 years. Forget it, forget it. 30, 30 schmerty. You know, who cares? The thing that's worth celebrating, the thing I think personally that I think is more of an achievement, and it means more, much, much more to me, is that after all this time, there's still a a pub garden full of people in St. Louis who is interested in what I've got to say. So that, that means much more. That means much more to me. One of the things I've learned uh, in uh, that long, uh, that long time, I've learned some very important things. One, don't take the piss out of Morrissey. Um, not only is he easily offended, his fans are even more easily offended. Um, what I'm trying to say, mate, is if he, sh if he couldn't take a joke, he shouldn't have asked for that job in the first place. It's a bloody stupid job, you know? I think I'm sort of feeding over the back here somewhere, mate. I don't know what it is. Okay. But the thing, most important lesson that I've learned um, is that the true enemy of all of us who want to make the world a better place is not actually capitalism or conservatism. It's actually cynicism. Yes. That is our greatest enemy. And, uh, and it's, not, it's not the obvious uh, cynicism of Fox News. You know, that's their job. That's how they make a living, by dripping cynicism into the, into the national uh, 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 discussion. That's how they make their money. No, it's not that cynicism. The cynicism that is the true enemy of all of us that want to make the world a better place is our own cynicism. Our own sense that nothing ever changes. Our own sense that no one else gives a shit about this stuff. Our own sense that all those people in charge are all exactly the same. They're only in it for themselves. You know, we, we have to fight to overcome that cynicism. You have an opportunity here in the, in the, uh, the things that are happening around you at the moment to overcome your cynicism and to show the rest of the world that St. Louis is not a cynical place. It's not a place where people give in. It's not a place where people give in to their worst impulses. And that America is not a cynical place, you know, because we, uh, there's so much of it out there. And sadly, the internet has kind of opened the whole dam of, you know, let all the cynics free. You know, the amount of shit I get sometimes when I tweet stuff is out of order. And we all know it would be 10 times worse if I was young and female and had an opinion, the amount of shit I would get. We've got to fight. We've got to fight that misogyny. All of us have got to fight that online misogyny. Every, you know, nobody should... <laughs>